Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Part 3 of our Barracuda build. Today we're going to be making our final adjustments for fit on both the body, chassis, and interior. Uh, we'll show you a, a couple things with that. We're also going to do our final sanding and priming on every part. And then we're going to get our uh, chrome parts prepped and primed. We're going to do a light sanding on those. And then we'll get our base coat down for the chrome. Got a few things ordered, uh, tires and wheels and some decals for our 164th scale Barracuda. So we'll be looking primarily at the uh, 125th today. So stick around. Now let's start our uh, interior process here to get a good fit. First of all, on that chassis, this is from uh, the duster kit, and someone put in the comments in part two, they want to know what chassis this is, and a uh, picture of the kit I'll have on the screen right here. Uh, but it's a 75 AMT uh, 125th scale muscle car um, duster. But uh, it's it's a little vague, but it's a more into. Uh, Excuse me, underneath the chassis, there's more detail here than there was on the original. But the setup back here, the fuel tank, spare tire, all that stuff's the same as the kit uh, from the 69. We've got a little bit of sanding here to do. But, um, as you see, we'll be marking. Let me go ahead and do some of that real quick. This stuff needs to be ground off for fit back here. Um, clean this up a little bit. And... I've got a couple of little spots here. And just a hair, a fraction, needs to be ground off right about there to make it where instead of um, a little bit curved there, that'll be flat straight across. Um, and on the chassis, I told you this right here needs to come off all together. It's that lug where the... Uh, Fastback Barracuda had the fold-down seat, and that's going to need to come to right about there. And also, be sure you wear a mask anytime you're grinding or sanding on uh, resin. This stuff can be uh, a little toxic, the dust, and you don't want to breathe that stuff in. So make sure you're wearing a mask or, or something like that to protect yourself there. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Let me show you why we need to remove that. I was telling you based on my measurements, but you see how this is kind of jacked up in the back. So once we take that off, that's going to drop that down. So we'll have a much, much uh, better fit, but that is uh, pretty off there. Now I would uh, go ahead and grind that lug, that little lug piece off here uh, on camera, but uh, to do that here at the workbench is, if you've ever sanded or ground <laughs> resin, this stuff is going to be everywhere. Um, so I'm going to put my mask on, and I'm going to get over uh, my shop sink, and I'm going to grind that off there. So stand by. <laughs>
Okay, we've got our grinding and sanding done on the chassis and most of the uh, interior tub. As you can see here, we've removed that lug. And you know how it was when we looked at it before, it was kind of jacked up back here. Well, you can see now, nice and flat against the chassis. And while we're at this stage, let's go ahead and do another mock-up. We'll install this. By the way, I went ahead and uh, stuck the taillight assembly in and the grill, which has not been chromed, of course, yet. And we'll put the uh, bumpers on, and we'll see how the chassis fits overall. I think there's still one little modification that will need to be done, but we'll, we'll check that here in a second and see. Um, and we will be using the firewall and radiator shroud out of the, the other Barracuda instead of the stock kit. Okay. That, the interior sits in very nicely. I am going to put just a thin piece of plastruct evergreen on both sides that will give that a, a little bit more snug look. And let's go ahead and put our front bumper on here. There we go, and drop, whoops. That worked better in rehearsal. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll drop uh, our radiator in. And uh, mounting parts there. And check that out, Ooh, right there. Um, right on, based on our wheelbase. Yep, that's spot on there. The only thing I can foresee so far and, and you notice we don't have that, uh, that gap up there that you can see from, uh, there at the radiator all the way through to the ground. And I know this is just going to be a shelf model from my wife's office, but it's got to be right, guys. It's got to be right. Um, and then the back bumper drops right in. But you see, we've got this, uh, this little piece. I, took, I shaved just a little bit off, and that's the way you want to do it, a little bit at a time. You can always take more off. It's kind of hard to put it back. Uh, I'm going to bring that down uh, just a little bit more so we can get the, uh, the lower gravel pan for the back in there. Other than that, as you can see, this is a really nice, uh, really nice fit. Um, so I think this is going to work out really nice. So let me go ahead and trim this off, do another mock-up, and then we'll... Uh, We'll start getting some stuff in primer and prepped for chrome. All right. So we have our body, chassis, and interior mock-up done. I've gone ahead and again put everything in there. You see the wheelbase. Everything looks good. I went ahead and put the front end uh, assembly all together. Got a good mock-up there, as well as the rear. The lower gravel pan is the uh, resin piece. Uh, as you can see, everything um, is lining up really, really well. The only thing I can foresee so far that I'm going to have to go ahead and make my changes, as we said in video two, uh, the strips that are across here that will fill in the little gap. And note here... When we put the interior, by the way, the only parts of the kit that we're going to end up using after all, I thought we were going to use more, but I'm going to use the, uh, the duster firewall and radiator uh, insert there, as well as the suspension and all that stuff. So about the only thing out of the original Barracuda kit we're going to use is the dash, the seat and console, as well as, I think, the wheels, the stock wheels. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, are going to have to make a little modification. As you see here, where the, uh, the steering wheel basically touches the bottom of the seat. And I know over the years we probably all encountered that where uh, unless you can drive with your nether regions, that's just kind of impossible. So I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that. Um, you notice how this dash kind of rocks back and forth and it does that in that stock uh, stock interior tub too. I'm going to show you how we're going to secure that and get that steering wheel raised up where it'll be just just in a right position there. So let's get started.
all of our parts are primed and in the dehydrator overnight. I went ahead and sanded off all of the scripts on the body. We're going to be replacing those with the Model Car Garage Barracuda detail set. We're here at the paint booth with our primed parts, ready to get our base coat for our chrome down. I'm going to be decanting and airbrushing uh, Tester's 1247 Gloss Black. Back when Allclad first came out, they recommended using Tester's Gloss Black, and I've been using it ever since with great results. I have used Tamiya TS-14 Gloss Black as well as Allclad's Gloss Black base coat. Um, for me, anyway, I have found that the tester seems to be the most durable um, and yields the best finish. So, let's get some painting done. We have a great slick high gloss black paint job on our parts to be chromed. We're going to leave them in the dehydrator for the next few hours to fully cure and then we'll be ready to get some chrome on there. A quick update on our 164th scale. I went ahead and masked off the bumpers. Uh, like I said, I really liked that chrome. It was really to scale and uh, the grill and went ahead and shot the uh, the belly pan in a good primer color and then I'm going to be doing a little overspray just like the real cars a little bit of that overspray onto the bottom then we'll paint the suspension the uh, drivetrain the differential the transmission engine blower engine block and exhaust system and we're gonna have some fun with this I actually having a bit of fun with this anyway uh, so we're gonna actually I think I'll put that in the dehydrator with it for a little while and we'll get all that done Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in part four and we're going to get everything painted and take a look at some of the sub assemblies and get those started Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time